Hey, I'm here with Henry and I just wanted to talk a little bit about um, clicker training and I actually wanted to run through a trick that um, I've not done with Henry for some time um, but I just wanted to revisit it with him. So um, clicker training is essentially marker training okay um, and whenever we're doing clicker training we need to charge the clicker so it's exactly the same as the process of charging the mark when we're charging a marker word okay so we need to teach the dog that the click is relevant and that the click is a reward marker um, and we do that just by pairing it with a reward okay so click means treat click means treat click means treat okay so that the dog knows it's a predictor to getting something um, Clicker versus ver verbal marker um, argument. I personally, once a behaviour is established, I use a verbal marker. Typically, I use verbal markers because I don't really like to have something else to think about, something else in my hand. Uh, the times that I use a clicker are for particularly trick training or if I'm teaching something a little more complex, something that the dog might find a little frustrating potentially. Um, the benefit of a clicker uh, is that it takes away all of our human emotions, okay? Um, as humans, we sometimes have a tendency to go, yes, yes, um, and become overly excited with our verbal marker when a dog has done something exceptional that we've been waiting for them to achieve for some time. Um, whereas a clicker takes that away, it's the same every time, yeah? It's exactly the same noise, there's no emotion in there. So often uh, a dog can find it far less stressful when we use a clicker. So um, that was just a brief little discussion about clickers. So the trick that I want to teach Henry is how to take my socks off, okay? So I'm going to start off making that super duper easy. He already knows it a little. <laughs> You're so cute. So I'm going to start off, when I teach this to a dog, I would be marking and rewarding every single approximation towards um, the sock on my hand. <laughs> he remembers it already. Let's see if he'll actually just do it on a verbal cue. Waves. Okay. Socks off. Socks off. Good. Good <laughs> job, buddy. Wait. So I'd start off by making it easy for him. That is. Socks off. Go. Go. Good job. Okay. But we teach that to a dog essentially by starting off. Wait. Sit. Starting off with it loosely on our hand. Okay, making it fairly easy for the dog to grab at it. Good job. Good. Henry's quite proficient in the behaviour. Wait. Um, and then, wait. And then we would have it on our foot, just slightly on our foot, like this. Good job. Marking and rewarding. And then we would make it more, wait. Then we would make it more and more difficult. Wait by having the sock um, higher and higher up our foot, okay? So obviously, when this is properly on my foot, as opposed to wait, when I've got it kind of strung out like this, so it's easier for him to wait, <laughs> okay? Oh, I accidentally clicked there, good boy. So when it's, so even if you were um, physically impaired slightly, you should be able to just um, pull the sock slightly so that it's not actually touching your toe. Socks off. Good. Come on. Good. Good job. Okay. So something like that is, is you know, it's not, well, I suppose it is useful. Um, but it's just another fun thing that I do with my dogs is um, teaching them to take their socks off. So, yeah, start off really easily marking, rewarding, just um, interest in the sock. Um, click reward, click reward, click reward, then raise the criteria gradually that they have to actually hold and apply pressure before you um, mark a reward and then they need to start tugging at it slowly and taking it off further and further before you actually mark and reward that. 
Then you can start transitioning it to being on your foot. But again, lowering the criteria because we're changing um, we're changing part of the training, we're changing the context in that it's on a different part of our body, so we need to make it far easier. So then we would have it just literally on the end of our foot um, and go through the process again as we taught it on our hand and then bring it higher and higher up your foot, more and more securely on. Um, and then pair it, once the dog is doing it proficiently, then you would start adding a verbal cue. So mine is socks off. Um, good job. Socks off. This one. Take it off. Good job. And the other one. Take socks off. Socks off. Socks off. Come here. Take socks off. Hey. Good. Good job. Take it. Okay. Give it a whirl.